Good afternoon, Admiral Preparedness here. Hello there, YouTube world. And we've picked up some more subscribers. I appreciate that. Uh, a lot more views. And uh, if you have any comments, good or bad, I don't really... Uh, I'm pretty equal about uh, being picked upon. Or if you want to pick apart something I got to be picked apart, pick apart it. Feel free. Now today, I'm going to talk about those dollar stores. Uh... Here's what five dollars, one, two, three, four, five, I can count, yay, can get you at a dollar store. Uh, I got to say something about these guys right here. People think I'm out of my mind, but let me tell you something. Pretend like it's uh, day two into a SHTF. Uh, your emergency radio has notified you that the uh, uh, mass... Uh, coronal ejection from the sun directly impacted our power supply ability to tra and transmission lines and it'll be depending on where you live uh, six months to a year before those new transformers uh, can be installed by the local electric companies and with all the uh, dust to dawn curfews uh, being put out by the federal government and the state governors and city municipalities and local mayors, you may be without power from the grid, well, like I just said, from six months to a year. Remember, it's day three. Now, uh, being a prepper that you are, and somebody who forth, forethought and planned ahead, uh, they're, they're recommending you shelter in place until the uh, uh, FEMA shelters can be uh, assembled and then staffed. So and if you live in a house like I do, you have several windows. And it, maybe you've got a small uh, generator. Maybe you've got solar panels. Uh, whatever uh, backup power you have. You really don't want to broadcast that to your neighbors. Uh, or anybody who is looking to loot or pillage. Because law enforcement... Will deputize local citizens when need be. Uh, if your neighborhood, if you have a neighborhood watch, uh, then you guys are one up on everybody else. It doesn't. Your your local uh, groups. We there. I hear these pros and cons on the on the prepper channels. Uh, I personally, uh, if you can trust somebody with your life, then you, you they they can trust you with their life. But when it comes to blacking out products. These are a dollar. Now, this is a 54 inch by 108 inch plastic tablecloth that is, you can't see light through it unless it's got a tear. Now, uh, last Halloween, uh, during the weeks before Halloween, I was preparing my display. I, I discovered, of course, I already knew it, but I, I rediscovered the fact that I could use these to uh, do the windows where I could have the lights on the inside on. And nobody from the outside seeing inside that I had lights on. So I could put my Halloween decorations in front so the people coming by would see the decoration being lit up and whatnot and then not be bothered by the, the light from the inside of the house. And it worked out really great because I got a lot of comments from uh, my dog walking neighbors. But uh, if you properly plan it uh, and you measure your windows out, uh, this again is, is pre thinking what you have to do. Uh, leave these in the rooms where you're going to be somewhere in the house that you can get to these. Don't put them away in a box someplace and forget them. I've got probably three of these out there. I can't remember where I put them. I digress. I get old. They're perfect. They cut easily with scissors. Uh, you can use Velcro or tape or however you want to fix them to the windows. Uh, they're not going to be able to see in. So that way, at least you can have lighting in your, in your, inside your, uh, uh, your domicile or your apartment or comp, whatever you're living, hell, even your tent, uh, so they can't see what's going on. Because if they don't see the lights, and if you have a dog or whatnot, and they hear the dog barking, then they're just going to keep on walking by. Uh, they don't want to take a chance. Uh, plus, you've got that light. Now, uh, I don't recommend you have blaring lights, because if you got to shut them off, uh, you may have a problem getting your eyes used to the darkness. So, you know, remember that. Just, just be better known that if you want to black out your lights, you can. And, of course, now let's move over to uh, these guys here. 
Uh, these from the dollar store, a dollar, a uh, dollar each. Good buy. These are perfect. These are the uh, shaking lights, shake glow lights. You crack them and shake them. There are four of these to a package. Uh, as long as they're in this container, they're fine. Uh, shelf life is debatable. Uh, I've seen some of these go for several months to several years, depending on how well they're maintained. Uh, these, I don't believe, have a best buy date on them. I don't think they do that with these guys. Uh, the only thing is, some people have been saying put them in a the refrigerator. Some people say put them in a the freezer. Uh, you go do your own research and you tell me. They come with a string. Uh, there's a cap that you can put over the top so you can hang them around if you got any place you want to hang them around. These are perfect. They're only one time use though, so you know use them sparingly or stock up on them. But uh, uh, four for a dollar, you know. For some emergency lighting, you can't beat that. That's your dollar store. We all know what this is. Uh, a lot of you guys out there, a lot of you ladies out there, you know, you're not going to beat two rocks together. You're not going to put a put a fire starter together. You want some way of starting a fire quick. And for a dollar, you leave it. You leave it this guy in the container. You've already got the hanger uh, part right here, so you can hang it on a nail or someplace near your front door, wherever you want to have this guy hanging. Uh, as long as you've got it in this, in this container, as long as it doesn't allow that fluid to leak out, it's in, it's not going to hurt nothing. It's going to sit there until the day you need it. If you want to test it, by all means, you know, make a slice, get it out, give it a couple quick uh, starts, make sure it works, and put it back, put it away. Put it where you're going to be able to find it. Every time I turn around, I'm looking for something I've hidden on myself like a dummy. Because I'm because as you get older your brain goes and so does your memory and all that kind of stuff. But uh, let's not digress too far back. But again, for a dollar. So if you've got friends, you know, and you're trying to do barter, uh, you buy ten of these, and then you put them strategically around your house, your apartment, your your condominium, wherever you live, and you're good to go. That way, you've always got a, a way to start a fire. We all know what it's like not to be able to start a fire. Especially, remember, if you guys got gas stoves, the power goes out, well, the starter's not going to work. It's just how it is. It's got to be plugged into a wall. So you can st the natural gas flow uh, is on emergency power, and plus the PSI level of some of these gas lines. It's going to take several hours, if not several days, depending on who's along the line using gas. Uh, you can still use natural gas. I think the federal government has mandated, you can look this up too, as far as uh, 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 utility service when a SHTF occurs, what's going to stay up longer than what's not going to stay up longer. Uh, you can just about bet that when the, when the power lines go down, all of your municipalities will also switch over to their emergency backup power, but for how long? Uh, that's where you got to draw the line of saying, how far do you want to be prepared into the future of uh, an SHTF. It could last hours, it could last days, it could last weeks, months, and even years. Uh, one would hope that through the goodness of the human nature that we wouldn't totally be a barbarian society and, uh, run, and run amok, but you never know. You just don't know when you start talking about people with kids. Uh, they're trying to keep those kids fed and quiet and happy, and they're going to do whatever they, whatever they can. Then you look for your, your, then you have your power struggle, folks. Those gang bangers, those those opportunists, and those thieves and, and criminals. You you would hope that before they get to you, they've already been wiped out. They've already been eliminated by uh, the good folks that uh, me and you agree upon, and we, we all are like minded. Uh, I always consider if you live in a if you live in a a, a, a metropolitan area, and say the 11th, 11th floor or 17th floor of a high rise, and you're a prepper. Uh, good luck. Uh, once that water tank empties at the top of that building, you're done. Uh, don't don't count on uh, your neighbors are going to be about as clueless because uh, they're they're city dwellers. But if you're out if you're out in the urban, you're a little bit better off. We call them tracked home commandos. Uh, tracked home commandos are the people who are going to be uh, basically you know Rambo. They've got maybe a pistol or 
a butcher knife or something. They're going to try to go out and, and gather up as many of their uh, followers and start taking over areas. Well, that's all good and fine. But like I said, if you're a, if you, if you're a wannabe tracked home commando, good luck. Because I'm, I'm almost sure there's going to be somebody out there who's going to be willing to take you out uh, the first time you open your trap. And start saying something that insults people, you're gonna find yourself uh, hurting, looking looking for somebody else to come get you and help you save your your sorry rear end. All in all, there are still places you can go today and find these deals. You just gotta know what to look for. You look, think about it this way: when you walk into a dollar store, you're in the prepper mode. Uh, if you're in the uh, discount shops, these uh, the thrifty thrift, thrift shops. You're looking for clothing, you're looking for shoes, you're looking for hats, eyewear, hand protection. For for nickels and pennies, when you're at yard sales, you're doing the same thing. You're in prepper mode. You're in prepper. You'll never be out of prepper mode, really. Always be mindful of what you could bring into your surroundings that you can use as barter. You can use as fair trade. You can use as a resource that you need. And also something you can you can have your family train on. Like I would never purchase this and leave it laying around and go, okay, nobody else had to use it. Oh my God. Same with this guy here. You know, show everybody how to use it. Buy a couple extra ones so you can demonstrate how it's used. We all know about again, like I said, the window coverings. At least do go do a dry run. That way you get used to you get that mindset of okay, it's, we're we're getting into a SHTF mode. I need to make sure I can protect my family, protect my property protect my, my, my stores, and, uh, and be a good citizen because, again, you don't want to be a, a, a tracked home commando, but you want to be somebody who's going to be at least diligent and vigilant to, to keep your property and your home safe from people who come across your property line looking to do you harm. They may not look like it at the beginning, but by Joby, the minute you tell them, you know, you give them a, a bucket of rice or a cup of rice or whatever. They're going to they're going to keep them in the back of their bean. They can come back and revisit you at the most worst opportune time. So, uh, all the gloom and doom and all that, you have to understand that uh, if you keep that in the back of your head, you're not going to be too far back when it when it has to be activated upon for the basic human instinct of survival. Uh, you can read about history books. You can read about it in these. Uh, prepper blogs and, and uh, what's going on in the eastern, uh, Middle Eastern countries, uh, there are people out there in the Middle East uh, who are preppers, and they're surviving right now on those prepper instincts. They're getting the food they need. If Venezuela, for crying out loud, the, the, have you seen any TV reports on it? But yet you, you find these uh, of doom and glooms out there showing these, these bread lines and all this other stuff. The media doesn't want to talk about it because it's depressing. You know, cats and dogs disappearing, people's birds being scarfed up. They're even eating. Uh, they're eating anything they can get their hands on. Uh, and 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 of course, the United Nations. They should be the first ones to come in and stabilize that country. But I'm not going to get into that at all right now. I I, I want to make sure that you understand where I'm coming from when it comes to saving money and having things that aren't going to go bad. In a, long, in a short period of time that has several years of survival time that you can use. And it, pray tell, if there's never, ever a SHTF event and you're having a Christmas, a Halloween party, by, by all means, break out, break out the item and use it. But at least you've got it. The old philosophy is to want and to have is better than to have and not to want. Uh, anybody out there who agrees, give me a like. If you don't agree... Give me a thumbs down and explain to me at the bottom why you why you think I'm wrong. If you think I'm wrong about that one statement, then I'm gonna sit here and and, and, and try to convince you that you you, you really want to have it and not really want to have it if you can afford it. It's not like it's gonna take up uh, take up take up a lot of room. It's not. <coughs> but you have to follow that that mindset. So. I want everybody to enjoy the ball game this afternoon. Uh, go Patriots. Uh, uh, that's my team. I've been with them since the day one. The day that team was formed, the franchise started. I've been a Patriot fan, and I was so disappointed over the last, well, those many, many years ago that they couldn't seem to get the right kind of players. They couldn't get to seem the right kind of leadership and team team sportsmanship that they did in the last 
years, years now. And so it's my turn to stand up and cheer my team. And I tell you, if you like the Patriots, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the Patriots, go down and tell me why you don't like them. And don't, I don't want to go into just the flate gate and all that other stuff that uh, they got caught up in. And uh, the, they paid their penance. And now they're going to play. But, again, have a great weekend. I'm preparing this here. Take care of your country. Take care of your family. It's the only two things you got. And if you can, save money.